Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and we have something really cool to check out today. This is obviously a Jurassic Park style Tyrannosaurus Rex. This was sculpted by Christian Lopez. I had promoted this quite a ways back in a news video, and I was really excited about the sculpt back then. I thought it looked so nice and really quite accurate to what you see on a Jurassic Park style Tyrannosaurus. And I went ahead and had sent the files. I actually got a hold of the files to print this out for myself. I sent this over to my good buddy, Bobby Holland, who had, I believe, his brother print it out for me and uh, send it back my way. He actually paid for the entire thing, so that was super kind of him to do that. A huge thank you goes out to my good buddy, Bobby, for that generosity and kindness. But we had this beautiful lady sent on over to me and I built and painted her myself and she honestly looks incredible. I think they really did do a great job on the sculpt of this Rex. The only downside to mine is it just doesn't stand on its own, like it doesn't stand independently, so I have to use a stand there to hold it up. But my intentions are to glue it to a base at some point very soon, so once I do that, it'll stand perfectly fine, of course, because it'll be glued down, but I wanted to wait to do that until after I had reviewed it. So for now, we're just going to use the stand here from the PNSO releases. But again, as far as the figure goes, when it comes to a Jurassic Park style tyrannosaurus that is just absolutely beautiful so without further ado let's go ahead and jump straight to a closer look at this right now so starting up here at the head sculpt of the rex you can see straight away that the tyrannosaurus is posed with its mouth open it's not open super wide but it's open enough that you can see that it is obviously either about to snap down on something or at the very least is you know going to let out some sort of a vocalization and I like that as well I think that the pose of the dinosaur is pretty much like what you would expect to see on a JP style Rex it's not often that you see a dinosaur like this posed with its mouth completely closed although I would actually like to see that from a company at some point that would definitely be a fun release but I think that he has done a great job of sculpting out basically the pose of the head you can see that it actually has a slight right turn as well so it is turning its head a little bit maybe something over here to the right caught its attention I'm not entirely positive you can see the teeth are all sculpted very nicely there's also some really nice detailing on the inside of the mouth you've also got the tongue present if I could find a good spot to get it there you go you can see the tongue is present on the inside of the mouth and in general there's a lot of really nice fine detail in there as well as the detailing here on that skin flap of the mouth again you can see the dinosaur is just opening its mouth a little bit so it's got kind of like some wrinkling and stuff in there it's not super stretched so they did a good job of you know displaying that detail as well you've also got the nostrils up here at the tip of the snout which looks very nice and a lot of gorgeous scale detail and fine detailing throughout the course of the head and they really did capture honestly every ounce of detail on a Jurassic Park style Tyrannosaurus in my opinion pretty much perfectly like even that kind of like appearance to the lower jaw like they really nailed it well Christian really nailed it as far as his sculpt goes you can see some very nice detailing up there around the eye as well so again pretty much every ounce of detail on this is really well done as you move back here into the neck you can see some really nice creasing and stuff moving down the course of the neck as well as some nice tensing like you can really see some tensing in the neck region of our rex as well as some more skin folds and skin wrinkles as you lead down here to the underside you have a lot of kind of creasing and everything going on down there as far as the texturing goes as you move down into the body you can pick up on the shoulder blade a little bit right there you can see the arms are held in two different positions this arm is out a little further than what we see on the arm on the opposing side you can pick up on the muscle definition quite nicely right there in the arm as you move down the arm you can also see that the hand looks really nice we have those classic scoots down the fingers like you see on a jurassic park tyrannosaurus the nails as well are sculpted very nicely as you move back here into the stomach region the skin texture looks really good you can actually see every so often like an osteoderm and stuff popping up but mostly you see just some really beautiful very fine detail throughout the course of the stomach region and pretty much the entire rex honestly like they have done a good job sculpting out the detailing a lot of really nice skin wrinkles and skin folds down here and you can really see the skin kind of stretching off of the body due to the positioning of the leg pulling that skin back really quite far that's really nicely shown there in the sculpt as you move back up here a little bit further and you look down into the stomach you can now pick out the rib cage i like that when you look at it from the side you don't notice it so much but once you look up from here you can definitely see that it is nicely shown off in the sculpt of the stomach so that means that our rex looks nice and healthy doesn't look starved or anything like that 
as you look up here at the back you can see again that the spinal column is nicely shown here as well in the sculpt and you can also see some more really nice skin detail moving down the course of the back you've got the hip bone as well nicely shown off some more kind of skin stretching again due to this leg pulling back you can see the skin stretching even off of the hip region right there beautiful muscle definition here in the thigh and calf region again nothing that's overly defined like it looks nice and natural as far as the you know sculpting of the muscle definition i think you've got the kneecap right there and then as you move down the course of the body you've got a beautiful curve in the foot right there as the foot is picking up off of the ground again you can see the toes are just starting to leave the ground the nails are also very nicely sculpted out the foot in general it looks honestly awesome as far as the positioning goes the way that it's curving with the foot picking up off the ground you've also got the dew claw you can see the dew claw on the opposing foot now again now that we're down here and then as you move back up here you've got a lot of really nice skin wrinkles and skin creasing and everything going on because the leg is kind of pushing into that area of the tail and that continues to kind of look that way as you move out the length of the tail you've got a lot of really nice Again, kind of creasing and everything. A really nice curve to the tail as well. If you look at it from up above, you can see as we lead out the length of the tail, there's a beautiful curve to the tail of our Tyrannosaurus. And it even kind of heads in a downward fashion the further out into the tail you get toward the tip. And then if you look at the opposing side, again, that head sculpt looks beautiful over here, just like it did on the initial side. They absolutely nailed it when it comes to the overall appearance to the head sculpt of this rex without question a perfect looking jurassic park rexy head sculpt as you move back here into the neck again lots of really nice tensing just like we had seen on the previous side and uh, again really nice skin wrinkles skin folds and stuff like that i of course can't comment on the paintwork because this was done by me so you'll have to let me know in the comments section if you like the paintwork of the figure I think it's okay, not great, definitely not my best, but it doesn't look terrible. And you can again see that the shoulder blade again is shown over here. You get some really nice kind of skin wrinkling and stuff right here because this arm is pushing into the body a little bit. Not quite like what we see on the opposing side where the arm is kind of stretched out a little bit further or stretched forward, I should say. This arm is kind of held back toward the body a little more. And again, the fingers look the same though. We've got those nice scoots down the fingers, nicely sculpted out nails. As you move back into the stomach, you can again see the rib cage right there, nicely shown off in the sculpt, but again, not overly defined. You've also got a few skin wrinkles and skin folds there in front of the thigh. Again, as the Tyrannosaurus is kind of walking along, that leg is taking a step forward, more so than what we see on the opposing side, kind of bunching the skin up a little bit right there. You've got the hip bone yet again up here at the top of the leg. Again, more nicely defined muscle definition, but you don't see it quite as tense, I think, over here as you do on the opposing side, because I feel like the opposing side, as it's moving, would be kind of tensing, and you can see this leg is just kind of setting down and standing there, so that's nice attention to detail. You've got the nice calf muscle that is quite nicely bulging right there. A beautiful, again, Jurassic Park-style foot sculpt really really nicely done nicely sculpted out nails yet again now we can see the dew claw on the opposing foot and then you've got more skin wrinkles and stuff right here as you move out the length of the tail again with that really nice curve as it comes out it kind of has like a little bit of a snake like curve and then ends in a downward fashion so a beautiful looking sculpt there you can see the underside as well again detail wise looks great and one thing that's always very important when it comes to a jp rex is making sure you get the way that the scales look here on the underside right and they have done that here on this rex so christian lopez really did a fantastic job i think on this tyrannosaurus and as far as a jp style tyrannosaurus rex goes it'll be hard to find one that looks honestly better than this sculpt wise the paint of course would be up to you but i really really think that he did a fantastic job on this tyrannosaurus and once it has some paint application applied to it it is a gorgeous looking Jurassic Park Rexy. Again, to show off the fact that mine, unfortunately, it's just kind of top heavy. You can see it just leans forward and just wants to fall. I don't know if maybe I didn't put the limbs exactly in the perfect position when I glued them. Maybe that's why it's not standing well. So it could be my fault. I'm not positive because I had seen images of Christian's and I believe his was standing in the images that I had seen. So I don't know exactly. Maybe I had misplaced the legs slightly, but... Either way, again, I'm going to glue mine, so I'm not too worried about it. It just has to hang out on that stand currently. But as far as the size goes, it definitely has a pretty nice size. And as with most kind of 3D models like this, you could probably upscale it or downscale it, you know, really size it to however you want. But as far as mine right here currently goes, you are looking at about the, I'd say about 16 inches or about 41 centimeters. 
And then for a height, we'll have to bring the camera back over here to the top of the neck. You're looking at about five and a half inches or a little over 14, maybe closing in on 14 and a half centimeters. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Alan Grant, because he is definitely way more familiar with the Rex than Robert Muldoon would be when it comes to encountering it in Jurassic Park. But you can definitely see that I would say the Papo Rex and this Christian Lopez one at the scale that I have printed out currently looks about, you know, roughly in the same scale range. So if you are going to acquire the figure and then just print it out, it'll probably end up, I would imagine, maybe in this size range. But honestly, it looks great in comparison to these other figures and especially Mr. Papo Rex is a super highly detailed figure and you can see that the Christian Lopez sculpt 100% lives up to the same amount of detail you see on the Papo Rex if not even better. And then for a second size comparison here is the Christian Lopez Rex in comparison to the W Dragon Tyrannosaurus who almost completely looks right over the head of the Christian Lopez version. So if you do have the W Dragon version, you can definitely see that this Rex is a little bit smaller than the W Dragon version, but that's not too shocking because the W Dragon version is really quite large. And then for one more size comparison, we also have the recent release of the Prime 1 Tyrannosaurus Rex in comparison to our Christian Lopez version. But what I've come to Realize during these size comparisons is that if you are looking for a nice kind of a smaller version of a Rex, which definitely is not small, it's still really quite nicely sized, but one that's not going to be too massive, this Christian Lopez version is definitely a great choice, definitely a good one to go with. But again, I believe, I, I'm not too familiar, I don't 3D print anything, I've never done that in my life, but I think you can kind of upscale it or downsize it to basically whatever size you want, so that would really be up to you, but as far as mine goes, when it comes to the size again, he's a little on the smaller side, but still really quite nice sized. So this Christian Lopez Jurassic Park Rexy is definitely a really really nice sculpt and again this is one of those figures where you can basically pay to download the files of the Tyrannosaurus and then print it out for yourself. I definitely recommend doing that because if you have the ability to 3D print models this is definitely a great one to go with if you are a Jurassic Park fan. I know there are plenty of people out there that are open to doing that for people so if you are interested in having this printed out for yourself let me know and I could try to maybe hook you up with someone that could print it out for you maybe even again my good buddy Bobby and his brother who is doing that service right now so again if you are interested in this definitely let me know in the comments section and maybe I can help to hook you up with someone that could print this out for you but again you would just have to purchase the files and then send the files on over to them but as far as the sculpt goes they did a fantastic job of replicating a Jurassic Park style Tyrannosaurus they really did capture honestly every ounce of detail in perfect fashion and I know that Christian Lopez was very serious about making sure that everything looked honestly perfect as far as the sculpt goes on his tyrannosaurus so i feel like he really did achieve it having it now fully built painted here in person taking a look at it he really did achieve what he set out to achieve and that's definitely creating a perfect jurassic park tyrannosaurus rex the paint by me so that's really up to you how you paint yours you can of course paint it yourself which i actually recommend because it is an absolute blast building and painting models or you can always send it over to a professional artist like Shane Folks, for instance, or many others, honestly, BVS Artworks. They are definitely one of the top of the line when it comes to dinosaur commission work like this. And he's very familiar with Jurassic Park dinosaurs as well. So that's another good one to go with. But again, that's really your call. If you choose to have an artist paint it for you, you want to paint it for yourself. Either way, the final product is probably going to look really nice because with detail as nice as you see on this Rex, it's really hard to probably make it look bad because it is just an incredibly gorgeous Tyrannosaurus overall. I do as well like the size of mine because it's not overly huge, but it's not small. It's honestly a really nice desktop size so that you have a really impressive highly detailed model without taking up too much room or being so small that you may not even notice it so the size of the model is honestly great on top of everything so again if you are interested make sure you check the link in the description i will include a link to where you can purchase the files of this tyrannosaurus to print out for yourself so make sure you do that make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next review thanks for watching